All right, so I just arrived at the home. I think these are all for me. It should be fun to go through. So all these bags for a hundred bucks. Now this too heavy, mom. I can do no, it. Okay. Is it gonna fit? I don't even know where to begin. This fell on my lap. The woman who I did my original estate sale with, her name is Sheila, she does buyouts. She found me on Instagram two plus years ago asked me if I wanted to do this buyout. That video is called Trash or Treasure. I got 13 bags that time and I believe I paid $200 for 13 bags. She called me this round. Sheila's still doing her thing. Sometimes the families whose home she's cleaning out, they don't want the clothing. So Sheila gets rid of them for them. Um, so this time she said, this is mostly Talbot's clothing, seven bags, $100. So I happened to be in the Boston area yesterday because my mom had a doctor's appointment. So we swung by Sheila's house. She wasn't there. We just went to her garage and we grabbed everything. Now I am home and my assistant Tina is gonna be here in 40 minutes and I'm gonna try to show you as many things as I can in 40 minutes. I just did a similar Thing like this with my neighbor who gave me eight bags of clothes and there were a fair amount of Talbots in there too. What I've learned is that Talbots sell. So let's see what we have here. Let's just dig in. Stop talking. So some of the stuff is on hangers, which is great because I can just put this right on a hanger to be photographed. This is a great rain jacket from Talbots. It's got the little gingham liner. That is fantastic. I will sell that. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm getting myself into here. Talbots sweater. That's really cute. The condition of this stuff seems to be pretty good. Princess Vera, this is actually Kohl's and I think it's like the kids department, probably uh, juniors, I probably won't sell that. This is Chico's. She's got a really nice, pretty palette. This is a turtleneck sweater. Should we count how many things? I don't even know if we can keep track. It's gonna be crazy. So I paid $100, let's just keep that in mind. My thinking was all I have to do is sell six items at $20. That'll be $120 once Poshmark or eBay takes their fees, that'll be 100 bucks maybe seven items at 20, then I'll really be like even five or six dollars plus. With that in mind, how could I say no to this? It was just too good. This is a fun denim shirt from Talbots. It's the old tag Talbots. Uh, pretty heavy, dark wash. This is Lord & Taylor, fine merino wool. I will have to like go through all these. If there's something you really love, please let me know because this is gonna take a while to process. If you love estate sales and thrift hauls, thrift with me's and buyouts, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can catch more of my video uploads. This is L.L. Bean. This is so nice. This is like a long coat. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at how long this is. And it's got this flannel lining. Oh, this is gorgeous. It looks like you might be able to zip this liner out to make it even more lightweight. Wow, this is gorgeous. Happy about that. And I'm kind of happy that it's a coat that took up a lot of space in the bag. Jane Ashley, this is like a little fleece jacket. Another L.L. Bean fleece. This is Talbot's, but I'm seeing that there's like makeup around this. I'm gonna let my mom look at a lot of these because this is her size and her style. This is like a little quilted uh, little fleece jacket, pretty cute. That shows a little bit of wear, so we'll have to check that out closer, give it a run through the wash. She liked her fleece, yellow bean fleece in ivory white. First bag, done. Two more things to show you. A couple raincoats, this is really nice. This one is Land's End. So we're getting to see her style vibe. Land's End, this is a really nice coral jacket. It's fleece lined. It is a size medium, 10, 12. Okay, this here, I don't see a brand on it, but it has this um, contrast stitching. It feels like, well, oh, these buttons are pretty. Let's check those out. Those so nice, really nice. Okay, so first bag, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. The 14 items in the first bag and a couple of them are coats. Feeling good. This was poking out and I was pretty excited to see this. Look at this Michael Kors bathing suit. This is beautiful. It has all of that ruching and this ties around your neck. This is in beautiful condition. Michael Kors size 10. I mean, this should be like $35 just for this. Really nice, I love it. This is super pretty. I don't know this brand, Shimura. This looks like a little robe, which is so nice. Very pretty. We got our first donation. <laughs> Look at that big slab of 
royal blue ink or purple ink. Okay, I'm actually grateful when there are things that I can donate. This just looks like a little shaper. It's made in form, size 36B. This still has the, the hygiene strip on it, this bathing suit. So this is me without tag. This is Shore Shapes Swimwear. Guessing it's a size 10. Oh, this is adorable. I think this is a Target brand. Still has this strap attached and this. This is so nice. Oh, so the straps go over your shoulder this way. Love the colors in this and the little length. And then it's got like the little, the little bathing suit part underneath. Oh my gosh, love these bathing suits. I wanna see more of those. I can look at this one right now and know my mom will probably want it. This is very much her style. Just a Talbot's t-shirt, Talbot's sweater. I know in my last haul from my neighbor when I had all this Talbot's, I got so many people who said, I would buy so much of that Talbot's. And I did say that I was considering doing like a Talbot's mystery box sort of thing. We'll see how I do on time for this, but this might be like these type of things. I could do like three for 30, two for 25, something like that. I'm not sure yet. I should probably do something creative. These are really nice pants, Talbots. They are a size 10. They have the crease still in them. Her stuff, some of her stuff is like brand new. And what Sheila did tell me was that a lot of these were current because I just did that big estate sale with my friend Karen. The estate sale that I did years ago was 95% vintage. So I just said, oh, I don't know if I'm up for like a ton of Talbot's vintage. And she said, I think a lot of it was in with, within the past three years. So far that seems to be right. Some older pieces, but I think we have some current stuff here too, which is great. And we have a lot of fleece. What is this? This is, oh, Icelandic design. This is a good brand. Look at this. My friend Savannah Street Savvy was the first person years ago who I ever heard mention Icelandic design. So it's probably not quite as big a deal as it may have been four or five years ago when I first heard it mentioned, but it reminds me of Ibex, that brand, which I absolutely love. This is really nice. It zips up, it's got this ribbed collar, and oh, I can see, no, I think that's just part of the sweater. I thought it was moth holes. This is really nice. It needs a little bit of a sweater shave. It is a size medium. I love the olive green contrast with the black. This could be like a 50 or $60 item. Out of season for sure, but really nice. I just wanna take a minute to thank today's sponsor. Earth Breeze Laundry Detergent Eco Sheets have really changed the way I look at laundry. We've been chasing this guy around for almost two and a half months, right? And it's amazing that I am able to get all of the extra laundry we have with a new puppy clean with my Earth Breeze Eco Sheets. In addition to cleaning up after a puppy, I always have laundry that needs to have special care after I take it home with me from thrift stores or after a big buyout like the one I'm sharing with you today. Clothes that come from estate sales have been in closets for a long time. They need a good refresh, a good cleaning, and I know that I can count on Earth Breeze to do the job. Earth Breeze got rid of everything that is wrong with old fashioned laundry laundry detergent. 91% of plastic laundry jugs don't get recycled. In fact, over 700 million laundry detergent jugs end up in landfills and our ocean every year. And that's just from the USA alone. So here's the size of the sheet. They tear up so easily and you just toss them right into your laundry. Earth Breeze's powerful eco sheets look like dryer sheets, but they're not. It's a revolutionary liquid-less laundry detergent that dissolves 100% in hot or cold water. The eco sheets are hypoallergenic and dermatologist tested. There's even a fragrance-free option, but I opt for the fresh scent because it smells so good. I love it. All of this stuff is great. It's eco-friendly, it's compact, it's biodegradable, but the bottom line is it cleans your laundry really well. I've done over 100 loads of laundry with this detergent and I just keep coming back for more. Your Earth Breeze laundry detergent sheets get shipped to your door. You can decide how often you want them delivered. It's a really easy subscription to manage from home. You can adjust, pause, or cancel anytime. These are actually 100% guaranteed if you don't like it. Earth Breeze will give you your money back, no questions asked. They recommend a half sheet for a medium load, a full sheet for a large load, and up to two sheets if you have an extra large load or stuff that really needs extra cleaning. So basically, all of the loads of laundry I do for my son Rocco post-college that's been sitting in his dorm for a few 
months. Go to earthbreeze.com slash Lori Tata to get started with 40% off today. Again, that's earthbreeze.com slash Lori Tata to get 40% off your subscription. Do we love the eco sheets? Yeah, do they clean up after your mess? Yeah, there's always little nuggets in these types of buyouts that you least expect. More basics. Some of these basics are really just nice. This is this tea tablets, which I think is like their workout line. That's nice. Just a basic navy blue or black. Um, this is a pretty little top. My mom's gonna have a field day with this stuff. I'm gonna have to have her come through and go through these things. She's gonna like so much of it. More off-white fleece. We have a lot of ivory fleece. This one is L.L. Bean. L.L. Bean fleece jacket. Uh, ooh, new with tags. We love that. Okay, whoa. Okay, my pile's coming, crashing down. Oh no, the struggle when you have seven bags of clothes in a desk full of papers. We love new with tags. Uh, the original price on this is $54.50 and it was marked down to $39. Really cute layering piece would be adorable with like a little black blazer over it fun little summer blouse it is a size small talbot's jeans size 12 flawless slim ankle what color are these these are that like off-white that bone white I could try these she doesn't have many 12s in here very cute would look nice with the off-white fleece from L.O. Bean, we have a couple of those. Kinda happy these things are on hangers, it just makes it easier to go through. This is a Chico sweater, really pretty. Look at the length on that. Probably priced this around $38, isn't that nice? Oh my goodness, we have a yellow striped t-shirt. This is Talbot's, yeah, so most of these are size medium, size 10. This is a nice Chico's blouse with a little tie front, isn't that cute? That's a zero. And Chico's is vanity sizing. This is a Land's End button down. This is a classy lady. Just very simple style. Oh, this is super soft. H by Bordeaux. Very soft and stretchy. Another base layer piece. What is this? This looks like a little jacket. Cheryl Nash. I know Patricia Nash. Cheryl Nash. I don't know this brand. This is a cute little jacket. Zips up. Wear down. Another bag. I have no order here whatsoever. I'm just gonna have to go through and reorganize as soon as this video is done. This one bag on the floor was so heavy. I'm guessing there's a lot of jackets in here. Land's End, off-white Land's End. Apple seeds, like this boiled wool. Definitely a more mature style. This reminds me of my Aunt Jackie. What's nice is on these wool pieces, I'm not seeing any moth holes yet. It's not like I'm looking very closely. This is Elena Solano, new to me. Very nice. Again, that boiled wool. Talbots, this is beautiful. Oh, this is so nice. This is an open like wool jacket in red, size 10. I bet this would be like a good $40. So nice. This is Kirkland. Oh, this is new with tag. I really like it. Kirkland is like the Costco brand. It's a size medium. How nice is this though? It's gray, has like the little belts to cinch in over here on the sides. This is so nice. Wow, love that. Wait, there's more. There was this too. This is Izod. Another like white rain jacket. Kind of has that really soft peach blush liner. Super nice, all these coats, crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh, did, did I even show these yet? No, I haven't. More boiled wool from Apple Seeds. This nice, beautiful coral color blazer. This is older tag Talbots, but very nice. This is Chico's, size one. Holy cow, cannot believe all these pieces. This is unreal. I definitely get overwhelmed with these buyouts because there's just so much. This is when I really do miss whatnot because you just hold things up and sell them and hold things up and sell them. I, I should just do a Talbot sale. That's what I should do. Just all Talbots, Chico's. I won't have to list anything. For those of you who don't know, Whatnot is a live selling platform. I did a lot of these shows before the holidays and I haven't gone back into it. Talbots, cardigan, yellow, size medium this orange t-shirt. This by Chico's, I love new with tags. 
$79. This is just like a basic top, really nice. Oh no, see the lace on the bottom? That's really pretty. I didn't see that. It's Talbots, little color block sweater. There's some zippers up by the shoulder here. That's pretty. I like those colors. More basics, Talbots and Talbots. I think I'm gonna put some new tag stuff over here because I know we can get those listed right away. Ay, ay, ay. More fleece from L.L. Bean. This one's really nice. This one's super soft. And this is Zenergy by Chico's, which is their athletic line. It's cute. I like the little stripes on the inside and it's this like grayish green khaki green. I like the little sleeves. I hope I'm not going too fast. There's just so much. Talbots, that athletic line by Talbots. Oh, this is cute. This is pure Amici made in the USA. Look at that little metallic. That's so cute. That would just be cute with a pair of jeans, a little white tank top underneath. So cute. This is a Talbots t-shirt. It's gray with like little silver flecks. Oh, I love this. Look at the little reindeer. That's so pretty. This looks a little oversized. I love it. Really cute. Some nice wintry things here. This is a turtleneck by Talbots. It has that uh, kind of the little specks in there. There's a term for that and I can't think of it right now. She has a lot of really nice basics. That's a pretty sweater. It's ribbed, cotton, Talbots, size medium. She's very consistent with her sizing. Curio, New York. This is a funky sweater. Talbots, Talbots, Chico's. These are all just like basics, all different colors. Oh boy. There's the tag. Joseph Rubkoff. This is kind of sheer, kind of funky. This is Chico's. Another broken hanger. That's pretty cute. Lace, a little black lace on the white. This is really pretty. I like this. Oh, this is the problem. We're stuck on the bag. I'm gonna stand for a little bit. Okay, let's do this. Striped. This is Talbots. She wasn't kidding, 90% Talbots. Foxcroft, that's a nice brand. Oh, and a broken hanger. I don't know if you can see that. Talbots, striped. More Talbots, more broken hangers. You get the gist. Ella Bean. More Talbots. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, this is so overwhelming. More stripes and more tablet. We are consistent. There's a whole bag here that looks like pajamas. All this for $100 is pretty impressive. More fleece, Ella Bean. She's the queen of fleece. This feels like that Polar Tech, very thick. We have Land's End. This is definitely down. This is nice, off-white. If anybody likes the fleece, let me know. I could maybe bundle some. This is that same design she had in the off-white. Uh, more boiled wool, apple seeds. I always pass on it. I mean, their quality seems really nice. This is nice. Needs a little love. What's this? It's a nice wool coat is what this is. Oh, this is new. Kenneth Cole. Beautiful. Really nice. So there's the Kenneth Cole tag. It's never been removed. This is a nice chocolate brown. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love this. It's got the tie, you know, the stitching in the back where the split is never worn absolutely beautiful we have a vest by land's end that's kind of fun metallic dkny another wool jacket very similar to the style of the brown one this is why this was so heavy Kristen blake never heard of this very pretty all these coats are so nice this is the looks like pajamas and such. We have lots of pantyhose. Okay, lots of bras. Yeah, these look like her PJs. I'm not sure there's gonna be anything crazy in here. There's more fleece. This looks like a robe. Apple seeds. Whew. What do you guys think of buyouts like this? I get so excited because you just never know when you're going through. I'll definitely make my money on these, but this is not necessarily stuff that I'm passionate about. So these types of buyouts are a little bit harder for me because I don't get quite as excited. These are really nice gloves. Moon over Madison is what that says, what I can make out. Those are really nice. I like these gloves. Will those fit me? 
Oh, they fit like a glove. They're so nice. I love the buttons. I'm not gonna go through all these PJs because there's a lot. Do you see my, my energy level like shrink as I'm going through? These are the same slim ankle pants. It's just such quantity that it's very hard to stay engaged sometimes. There's just so much. Not gonna go through all the bras. We have some, these look like stretchies. Oh, these are cute. Not your daughter's jeans, ankle. Those are nice. Very lightweight for summer. More pajama pants, all PJs, all PJs. Okay, I have a couple bags in the other room, but you know who is sleeping, and I'm so afraid that the second I go out there, I'm gonna wake him up, so let, wish me luck. Okay, <laughs> Tina is here. Um, I just took a break. We did some shipping. I literally feel like I ran a marathon. I'm gonna show you some behind the scenes once this is done. It's crazy. We have three more bags to go. And then I think I will go through and just kind of come back and give you a, a briefing of what I decided to do with stuff uh, because there's just so much quantity here that um, I just feel like it needs an explanation and I just don't know what I'm doing yet. So I can't tell you now. More pajamas. Those are Laura Ashley. Um, this sweater is worth showing. It is, feels like wool. It is Talbert, Talbot's Pure Merino Wool. This is really pretty. Kind of this blushy pink color. Maybe like a little um, coral in there. Really pretty, nice long length. Guess what we have? We have off-white fleece. We're gonna count how many of these we have from L.L. Bean. I love a woman who knows what she likes and then buys it in quantity. I can appreciate that. I feel shoes, yay. That's exciting. Let's see what we got in here. I also see boiled wool. Okay, these are Land's End. Land's End boots, not bad. What, what are we here? Boiled wool apple seeds. See, she likes this too. It's very nice, actually. This, the, um, the quality is so good. I bet those were expensive. Nice. What are you? Merrells. Oh, look at those. Little hiking shoes. Really nice condition. Looks like a US 8. These are like brand new. Wow. Um, another pair of boots. Very practical clothing. These are made in Canada. Toe warmers, they say like brand new. I'm actually liking her coats. What's this? Kirkland. Oh, this is that same Kirkland one that I found. I really like this. I'm gonna show this to Tina. This looks like something Tina would wear. I might give this to her. I'm gonna have to really suck up to Tina after she sees this pile of stuff. I feel another shoe. Well, these are different. different. Busola, kind of cute. I like like the little slouchiness of that. Don't know this brand. What do we think? Very nice. I feel like something's in here. <laughs> I have a golf ball. <laughs> Does anybody need a golf ball with a pair of boots? You just never know what you're gonna find. All right, I'm gonna tuck that away. This reminds me of that one from earlier that's like two-toned, really pretty. Sorry, my pile's getting so big. Drum roll, drum roll for the last bag. Okay, what have we got here? Some Chico's 1.5 pants. These are really nice. Chico's like cotton. Okay, these are all pants, so these are not gonna be very exciting. We have corduroy, Talbots, 10 petites. Lots of pants, more fleece. <laughs> we got some denim, LL Bean Classic Fit. These are nice. Talbots gold vest, Talbots pink vest in a size medium. These are all pants on hangers. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that they're Chico's, L.L. Bean, and Talbot's in a size 10. That's my best guess. If you're a size 10 and you like these brands, definitely hit me up. I hate when my last bag is not exciting. More fleece! I'm drowning in fleece. Okay, my friends, that is a wrap. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you what it looks like behind the counter. We're gonna go see Lumpy. And then I am going to start sorting off camera. I'll come back and I will give you my game plan. If you're having a good time, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more from me. I'll be right back. Oh, that's the aftermath so much. We have a lot of work to do here. You are not supposed to be up there. Good boy. I put a treat on the step for you. Do you see it? Do you see the treat?
Lumpy, sit. Sit. Good boy. All right, so Tina has been busy downstairs. We already started to inventory. All of these coats have been listed. Um, we have the fleece. We have many fleece tops. Um, and Tina, <laughs> Tina was sure to put them in different bins so we didn't get confused. Um, my Aunt Jackie just came by. She grabbed that purple boiled wool sweater that I had planned on giving to her. Um, we are donating more things. We're finding more stains on things. But overall, we're good. Um, like this is some makeup around the collar. This has been through the wash once, but I haven't like treated it, treated it. So we definitely have a little bit more work to do. These were actually really great comps on these Merrill. So I'm excited about those. I think those should be listed. These are like brand new. They retail for $135 and I think I priced them at 89. It's been a process. We've been working on this for a few days. I'm gonna show you a visit from my mom and then say goodbye. Lumpy, you're fresh. <laughs> Stay out of the trash. Okay, so my mom is here. She's going through stuff. This is my donate pile back here, which she is rummaging through. We have these little Talbot shirts, which I know she'd like. Let me see. Oh, that looks really cute. I like it. And it's warm. Yeah. You don't need it buttoned all the way up either. It's but I cute. mean, in the cold winter, I like this collar. So cute. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. So we haven't been through this bin yet. Lumpy? Lumpy's our assistant. Say hi to your mama. Oh, who hi spoils mama. you? Does no. Meme spoil you? <laughs> Ooh. That looks cute too. I knew you were gonna love all this, Mom. It's all your yeah, style. Me. Yeah, well, fits you so nice. Yeah, that's cute. I think this is a little more snug than the other one. Does it look snug? Yeah, it that. really doesn't. No, I think it looks cute. nice. Yeah, yeah. You're sweet. You're cute. <laughs> I love it. Yeah? Yeah. All right, then. All right. I'm shutting All you right. off. <laughs> Go to earthbreeze.com slash Lori Tata to get started with 40% off today. Again, that's earthbreeze.com slash Lori Tata to get 40% off your subscription.